Hey everybody, welcome to the JY Dog Channel. I'm Mark, and today's topic is how much it costs to put a Cummins 5.9 12 valve motor in this 2008 F250. Sum up all the uh, the costs and all the figures, and uh, trying to summarize different scenarios and compare it to the scenario that I, that I used. And uh, I think mine is probably one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest, way to go. Hopefully you guys can benefit from some of this information and maybe it can help you make a decision when you're, uh, you're putting one in your own. I'd like to start off by thanking my sponsors, uh, Destroked. Uh, they supplied the adapter plate for my project and Swap Helper. Uh, both of those companies have been very instrumental in helping me with this project. Uh, Aiden McDonald, he helped me out with the adapter plate. Um, I purchased his uh, engine mounts. Secondly, I'd like to thank Lewis Beyer of Swap Helper. He's a developer of the uh, TAC adapter that I used in this setup. And both of those companies are highly recommended. I don't think I would use any other company but them if I had to do this over again. Um, they had top-notch quality material, um, very good cu customer support. To do this project over again, I would definitely use both of them as sources. And it's coming out of my pocket. I would definitely you know, buy their engine. Oh, I, I did buy the engine mounts. I would buy the adapter plate from Destroked. I would buy the engine mounts, and I would buy the TAC adapter from Swap Helper. Um, they helped me out this project immensely. I mean, everything just fit together uh, without a problem, without a hitch. And um, if I had any problems, I could contact either one of them, and both of them responded instantly and answered my questions. So, big thank you to Destroked. Big thank you to Swap Helper. Let's go on with the stuff that. Uh, let me tell you some details about what I've got here and what I'm working with. I started off with a Junkyard 96 uh, Dodge 5.9 Cummins engine, which had the P-pump, and it's the same exact P-pump you see here. Um, I bought that, I got lucky, okay, I was on uh, car-part.com and looking around I came across a core motor for 5.9. I've always wanted to mess around with one of those and I just ran across it and uh, I decided, hey, 500 bucks, I'm gonna run up there and take a look at it. And it had the P-pump on it. And just the P-pump on it was worth 500 bucks. So I bought the motor and I thought maybe I could fire it up. Um, it tried, tried to turn it over and it was kind of locked up and everything. So I started disassembling that engine and got into it and realized I'm gonna need uh, more machine work and I'm gonna need pistons and all that kind of stuff. Uh, then I got in touch with somebody on uh, Fummins Tech. It's a uh, user group that is on um, Facebook and um, buddy on there said uh, he had an engine uh, that was an 89 and that uh, it had pistons and somebody had disassembled it. It was somebody's project and he said it uh, looked like it had less than 100,000 miles on it. So uh, I, uh, it came with, I contacted him the first time uh, about the exhaust manifold he had, which is this uh, DPS manifold, which mounts the turbo down low. Um, that's what I initially contacted him about. I was going to uh, purchase that from him for, I think it was $250 or $200 or something like that. And then he told me about the block. He told me about uh, the pistons look really good for it. Uh, had nice rods. And um, that all the engine needed was to be uh, cleaned up and put new rings in it, new seals. And um, so I went ahead and just bought it all from him. Oh, he had a brand new oil pan with it too. And uh, I mean, just the oil pan is... I don't know how much these days, but it was a brand new in the box oil pan. So I decided to go ahead and, and purchase that, that package deal because I knew I was going to need some of those parts. Well, it ended up going that uh, the 89 block was in good enough shape that um, I just reused the lower end of it and uh, cleaned it up. And I took the head off the 96 motor, brought it to the machine shop, and um, they were going to rework the head for me for $400. So. I have got about, they actually only charged me 375 to do all the valves in it, and um, I supplied the gaskets, but the valves were good that they had, the guides were good, he said, no wear on that. So the engine that uh, that Brad uh, supplied me on uh, Fummins Tech was in really good shape, and I was able to use all the, you know, all the bottom end and put new bearings in it. Oh, he also, for that $1,000 I paid, he uh, included the bearings for it, the, both the rod and the main bearings. So that was a really good deal. So um, let me add up all the parts for the motor and itself. 
I paid $8,500 for the truck. It already had the lift kit on it. That's a $4,000 lift kit. Um, it's got the electric steps. That's $1,000 worth of electric steps. So I figured just those two things right there were probably worth it. And it's a Lariat. Uh, it's got a sunroof in it. So um, I figured this, those things right there probably made the truck close to, you know, what it was worth. Um, had some small crawlers on it and these are basically mall crawlers too but um, they were all beat up and the, the wheels were not worth much but they're 20s and I ended up doing some trading and everything I ended up I'm probably into it the same amount that I've got into these so those that's like a wash with these wheels and tires and these are 37s with uh, Mickey Thompson 20 inch uh, classic twos I think which they don't make anymore I'd love to find a, a couple of those for spares in case, you know, something goes wrong with these. Sold the bed off it. The bed didn't match anyway. It didn't match the year of the truck. It, um, the tailgate was off an F-150, so I sold the bed and the tailgate for $600. And, um, what I want to do is put a flatbed on it anyway. I, I was going to put an aluminum flatbed, but, um, many of you are, uh, told me out there that uh, you don't want aluminum because it's not very durable and it'll look like crap after a couple of years getting beat up if you use it at all so I'm going to probably go with steel and I, I want a nice uh, you know matching flatbed that's going to be one of my projects I think I'm going to have to make it myself um, one of the things uh, when I took this thing for a test drive you guys said oh I heard a tool fall off the back of it well I think I found out what it was it was one of these clips that fell off when I was driving it and it banged around sounding like a tool because I found it over there in the exact spot that, uh, that they said that tool fell off. And so I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Um, hadn't found any tools over there anyway. So that's, uh, that's what I got wrapped up the truck. Um, oh, yeah. Another big bonus is it has this gigantic, I guess it's a five-inch exhaust system on it. And that's got to be worth a couple hundred bucks right there. Maybe, you know, three or four hundred dollars. Uh, so that... Um, that's pretty much the truck. I don't have anything in the interior that I changed out. I did sell the 6.4 motor, which had zero compression. Um, did have the pump and the turbos look good on it. I sold the whole core for $2,000. So that knocks me back to about $6,500 for the truck itself. And then, um, let's see. Drive shaft. Had the drive shaft cut down. That was $150 cut down and balanced and the U joints are built in it. See, turbo. I have $200 in that uh, HE351 turbo. I think it's off at 2005. Um, what else do I have here? Um, miscellaneous hoses. I just reused the 6.4 hose up to this point. Cut that off. This hose is probably like, uh, you know, 15 bucks. This was like 10 or $15. Um, old intercooler piping left over from, from projects that I've had before. I reused this intercooler pipe. It was a 6.4, so all I had to do is cut that. Um, I ordered these 90-degree elbows. I think they are like $15 a piece or something. And I have, you know, probably... I'll have to add it up. But um, Also, this is a leftover piece of old intercooler piping right there. This is, this is the, where'd it go? Oh, this is the stock 6.4 intercooler pipe. It's just cut down to, uh, cut down to size. Um, added two elbows here, so that's like $30 right there, you know, and that's, that was just left over my junk pile. I did get another starter for this from a junkyard for $35. It was off a newer model, uh, lower miles. I dropped two batteries in here. I took the old ones out, and they both had warranties on them. I just had new replacements, and I think I have $100 in um, the cost for uh, for swapping those out. And, of course, a uh, new belt. I, I purchased a 6.4 fan because I, I let my other one go with the motor. I shouldn't have done that. I made my own adapter for the 6.4 fan, and that was made out of scrap and just some bolts that I had. That seems to work pretty well. If you got a, 
you know, I got to stock motor out. My air conditioning is not hooked up yet, nor is my cruise control. I got to get everything else sorted out before I do that. And I haven't finished my clean air intake. That's uh, that's a temporary measure right there. I'm gonna try to use the old uh, old box for that. You can see the swap helper is down there in the bottom left-hand corner. I need to tidy up the wiring, clean it up. Of course, I got to tidy up that wiring also. But like right now, everything works. Okay, and another major expense is the torque converter. I got a extra low stall torque converter from um, FTI. And so far, I'm very pleased with that. It seems to work well. That, um, that figure was, I'll put it right here because I don't know it offhand. It wasn't cheap, though. So for a grand total of, that's how, I, how much I have in this truck. And um, which I think is pretty reasonable. I, I do think that a, uh, I think any running, um, just a standard Fummins truck with a 5.9 in it, the P pump is worth at least 10 grand. Uh, if it runs well and, and does everything it's supposed to do, um, you know, hopefully with the air conditioning hooked up and cruise control, which I don't think it's going to cost me too much to do that. You know, maybe at the most $200 in hoses and then uh, maybe Freon and everything for another 100 bucks at $300 for that. And the cruise control, I just got to buy a servo from a junkyard um, off of like a 2000 model, something like that. I'll get to that part and make a video of it when I get to it. Uh, one thing I do want to suggest, if you're going into the motor or if you just have the engine out and you have easy access to it, is that side tappet cover, which mine is leaking like crazy. You can see all the oil down there. But the, the side tappet cover on, on these, they're just prone to leak. And, I mean, it's, it's a crapshoot whether you use a stock gasket. I put a stock gasket on there. Torqued everything down. I thought I was following the specs, you know, 100% on it, and it leaked. It, uh, I, could, I should have been able to tell because the gasket seemed really loose around it. So um, I've got a uh, ordering a, a, a billet one. I would definitely suggest getting a billet cover. And uh, if you go into the motor and if it's out, just go ahead and go that route because you don't want to take a chance on it, you know, leaking all over the place. It's <laughs> it's a real bummer, man. All right, well that's. Uh, that's a rundown of what I've got in it. And uh, of course, uh, fluids. This thing takes that SP transmission fluid, which is not cheap. That stuff is like $9 a, a, a quart. It's, it's like outrageously expensive. I had to put three or four quarts in there because I changed out the torque converter. Um, yeah, hopefully this information uh, helps you guys. Um, try not to go over to the 10 grand mark and you're building a truck. Because um, I think that's probably about what they're worth in the you know, retail market. Um, you know, not all souped up or anything, but just a basic Fummins 5.9 truck. I think, like, they're worth ten, about 10 grand at least. And this one I would consider more because uh, the lift kit, the steps, it's a lariat. Um, and once I get everything, you know, ship shape on it, I, th I think it, I think it's worth, you know, between 10 and 15 somewhere around there. Hope that helps you guys. And uh, if you've got any questions, please leave them down in the comments, and um, I'll try to answer them as quick as possible. Uh, sometimes I get behind with my, my real job. Hey, thanks for watching my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do for future updates. Remember, build it, don't buy it.